Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to talk about Rolfo, a 5 star, 4 star, high high work rate, 510 and this girl can play left back and center mid which was a huge, huge W. So I did not do her initially uh, but I'll be frank, I just got cracked away in the hype and I just had to complete her. Uh, with that I also had fodder so I was like why not so I was looking to complete her versus Carvalho and uh, I kind of have options for both of the players right so I have good center backs and I have pretty good left back as well as center mid um, so she is 510 control 5 star 4 star and her stats are really good because she could shoot she has very good pace probably you know good enough for like op for a center mid position but also good enough for your left back um her dribbling is top class agility and balance is kind of on a decent end not like top tier end but uh, i'm still hoping she'd be very fluent in the game um defending is very nice strength for her is 95 which again is a big big double right and uh Regarding her upgrades, she might get some, she might not because again she was injured and had been for a while. I'm not sure, I don't follow her, uh, her or Barcelona wins team that much but hopefully she gets one or two or maybe three upgrades which would make her like really really OP. But she has pink pass, very important for sentiment uh, and left back position and she has, she has trickster. So trickster is like kind of uh, perform more unique round like skill moves again this is probably not a uh, lot lot useful but again like you know in simple skills like ball roll etc the, and you know other skills too since she has five star the error rate is pretty less right that's what i would think of apart from that she has whipped pass too again uh first touch technical dribbling quick step and relentless so pretty much very good qualities or very good play styles for players that could play center mid as well as left back uh we'll be trying her out and to compare we'll be trying her in both left back position as well as center mid position so currently i on left back i have uh davis um uh of course i also had howards right um now davis is a beast right like 99 99 strength uh acceleration sprint speed defending is on the lower end but his dribbling is top class his physical like strength is 81 but doesn't feel like that uh, has really good play styles too uh fit plus fit pass plus and so on um so he has been really really good for me on left back position and so had been Havertz. so after Havertz, i completed davis and replaced him right uh but Havertz was a beast too so pretty good left back to work with and compare rolfo to and the same i could say for a uh, center mid position now center mid it's like I, I'd not be comparing to many people like Kante or Kimmich, I'd just be comparing her to Sava because she is the person who I feel like is the closest to Rolfo. Uh, now Sava is 93 rated by default, pace is amazing, shooting is amazing, probably better than Rolfo, uh, at least for now. Uh, passing looks good, dribbling is nuts, defending is awesome, physicals are great, strength is of course not as good as Rolfo's but still and she's 4 star, 4 star and she's kind of shorter, right? So that is i feel a big advantage that rolfo has because 510 is not like a short player right um that is a good enough height to have in the game so i'll see how that feels in the game how huh? both as left back as well as a center mid and uh we'll, we try we'll try to kind of move her forward too but you know if you've seen me play i kind of keep my center mids as well as my fullbacks stay back uh, right now I'm playing on a balanced for my center mid so that'd be nice but um, my left back and right back might go forward or might stay back according to situations um, so we'll see how he uh, how she feels in the game as compared to Sawa because Sawa also had pretty good play style which was written test plus and press proven so getting out of you know again tough situations is really really good with uh press proven uh but again she does not have technical while rolfo does have technical uh so again i'll be switching her in between 
left back and center mid we'll be playing like first three or four games as left back and then next two or three games in center mid and we'll be comparing her to davis Havertz, as well as sawa with that let's dive into the game all right beautiful dribbling there that first touch was amazing doesn't feel slow good pass so she did reach that however couldn't um, retain it before pass took it very nice dribbling there beautiful tackle nice work good stuff That was a good goal coming from the tackle uh, that her, that she did. All right, so she is taking that run. Let's see. Yeah, pretty good dribbling though. But when it comes to dribbling, I still feel like um, Howard has the edge there. What a ball. Does have that crossing abilities. Nice little switch there. Positioning is really good. And there it is, that pass. Beautiful pass there. That's some good strength, getting past Lam there. Good dribbling. Not a bad ball. Uh, no one around there to take that header. Oh, wow. That was pretty good as a header for uh, someone who's kind of 5'10". Oh, she is in good position here. Can she? Uh, got into good position. Uh, couldn't take the shot like uh, the defender blocked it. That was pretty good, but... Great ball to Martinez. Oh, what did he... Why did he take that shot? That's a good ball too. So definitely in 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 the attacking end she is she's been pretty good. Yeah, so dribbling it's not bad at all, but I've seen uh you know in those situations kind of like how you know Davis gets past players that's definitely observable. Good pass there. Very nice pass and a good goal from Werner. Good play. Got her first assist, I think, or maybe the second one. Nice burst of pace again. Shoot to Martina. Oh, what a ball. And there it is. Another assist. I was actually aiming for Martinez, but she, like her vision probably was kind of greater than mine. And that, that's her, your pink pass, whip pass come into play. Uh, beautiful to assess in a matter of minutes. What a ball again, man, her passing. As a left back, it's just amazing, man. All right, awful. Pretty good work there. Beautiful burst of pace, man. All right, we do get the goal from there. I was trying to kind of cut inside with her and actually score uh, with her but that didn't go through nicely done beautiful dribbling there
and we get the goal again. So very involved in my goals at least in this game. All almost all the games she was like kind of a part of it. So pretty good when it comes to attacking rate and her positioning defensively as left back. Very good strength there. Beautiful dribbling again. Holding off Lamb nicely. Ah, uh, that was really good. So for that cut back, that that was really nicely done. That's a good run. Oh, what a sweet finish. So that's what I'm telling you. She can run and she can score. And she doesn't seem, you know, she doesn't seem shot. She seems pretty good. Like her presence feel pretty good. So. Beautiful inception there. Awful. Nicely done under pressure. Got inception, but I don't know what happened to the pass there. Never mind. Up against our senior. Very good pressure, and that's where your strength comes in. Beautiful strength uh, to, to kind of struck away Jarsino into the sidelines. All right, guys, so now we're gonna play her center mid, and we're going to replace um, Sawa. The problem is our chemistry. Yeah, so we're gonna try that. So with Sawa, we're gonna play uh, Rolfo, and I've benched um, Kante for the time being. Kante, by the way, with Shadow, he has been a monster for me, but we'll see now how Rolfo feels in the center mid position as a box to box mainly, just like how Sawa plays. Um, and we also find what Davis can provide at left back position now, which earlier uh, Rolfo could not provide. Of course, we, in the end of the video, we'll be talking about both the positions. So first things first, I think when it comes to dribbling, uh, Sawa like is, is way 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 better. I'm not kidding. It's like Rolfo doesn't feel bad one bit But those quick turns that agility and balance that is definitely noticeable in Sawa more But again, like it's not about all about dribbling, right? Yeah, look look how Sawa turns here, right? So that is something um, It's it's a little bit tough to do with Rolfo because of that a little bit higher height very nice inception there That's what we want from her That was nicely done by Alpha there. Nicely done again. So she is coming out of pressure situations really well. Nicely done by Rolfo again. So that turn that I just did with Saba, that's incredibly difficult to do with Rolfo. Beautiful tackle. Nice defensive work there. Look at that touch from Sawa, man. Those touches are incredibly difficult, man, I'm telling you. Uh, but other than that, Rolfo has been very solid in terms of, you know, keeping the ball. That 95 strength is definitely uh, coming to play a lot of times. Yeah, see? That touch is that Sawa can't take. It's really something, man. Probably because of press proven. Good tackle, Rolfo. Wonderful ball. That's what she could do. Great tackle again. Ah, uh, that was not a bad touch. Beautiful dribbling there. That dribbling along with that strength, very nice work. Rolfo, finally, there we go. 
good finish. First time shot. Um, came into position nicely and then scored the goal. Again, V, you won't be seeing a lot of goals from her when I'm playing because I do not use my CDMs or CMs a lot in the attacking phase, so... Yeah, see, so those quick turns I'm trying to do a lot of times. And although, um, you know, Rofa isn't doing bad, but it's a little bit stiff. So you've got to work with that dribbling a little bit in the midfield. Nice quick pass there. Wow, Rolfo. Last a challenge. Beautiful. Now that's something I expect from her. So I have noticed that her positioning as a CM, if you have a shadow on her, because I don't have her on stay back yet, her positioning is really good. She kind of, you know, is always in those defensive lines and doesn't break out of it. Good inception there. And again. Nicely done. Good strength again. Oh, that should be a foul. That was good work for her again. You know, one, two, and then her boost of acceleration is really good. So nice work there again. All right, so we're gonna try it with Rolfo. Not really great at penalties, but we'll see. Ah, he guessed it right. Good tackle again. Good strength there, right? So she not lose the ball immediately as you would expect when it is Sawa instead. Oh my God, how is Ter Stegen saving that? Quick run there. Beautiful strength and amazing goal. Beautiful skill, amazing dribbling, that strength in the end, that is what she can provide. That, Sawa or Kante, both of my other CMs, just cannot do. Technical dribbling. Ah, uh, could not finish that. That's a let down. But really nice work there though. Beautiful pass. And an amazing interception again. Unfortunate. Beautiful goal, Rolfo. When you click R1 in that area, that's just too good with Rolfo because of that technical dribbling. Rolfo, beautiful goal. Coming into the right position, I did not call her. So very good on the attacking front too. We've seen on the defensive side, it's a little bit, you know, of a challenge. Like uh, when you manually defended her, but uh, still pretty good though. All right, guys. So final verdict on Rolfo, uh, guys. 500k for this girl is absolutely worth it. You are getting a top tier player who can play center mid as well as left back now with what she is right now this is again personal opinion it might be different for different people but i can definitely replace davis man she's so she was fantastic for me on the left back in terms of passing in terms of strength in terms of pace she didn't feel like really really slow yeah davis is a bit faster so maybe if she could get like you know plus two uh, in, in the pace department that would make her like the ideal option but in center mid it's it's I would slightly choose Sawa over her as of now due to like a couple of reasons one is Sawa's dribbling is at another level due to that press proven she's able to quickly turn and especially probably uh, because of that dribbling uh, balance and agility too which 
Rolfo falls a little bit short on, right? But then Rolfo's strength, Rolfo's tackling, her technical dribbling, her finishing has all been amazing for me. Uh, even though I play her, you know, kind of not always moving forward, but still she always comes up in good positions. Uh, probably has scored one goal at least per match so far with, with which um, I've played with her, right? Uh, so it's been really, really good. Now, if you if you have Forer and you're still thinking, should you do it if you already have Sawa or if you already have, you know, uh, Davis or Harvards, the thing with her, her is that if she gets two or three upgrades, she'd be like a top tier player. You could even use her with Sawa if, if I'm honest, right? Like I might not replace Kante because of his pure defensive capabilities. So as of now, Rolfo might not make it to my first team, but again, maybe with plus one or plus two, she could definitely start my team. But if you have limited fodder and you're like waiting for another SPC or you're confused between her and you know all the other SPCs that have been there for a while, um, I'd say if you have Sawa, you could save your fodder. Sawa is really good, even if even with the upgrades, she might have a little bit edge over Sawa. But other than that, Sawa is still a top top tier player. Um, it's not that easy for Rolfo to take her place in starting eleven. Um, as you talk about Davis or Havertz, there it's very likely that you might want to do her if you need a left back who is like you know 90, 91, 92 has shooting capabilities, very good passing capabilities, has good strength, very good pace. She has all of that. So as of now, maybe not. But with one or two upgrades, she might be very idle to replace Davis or uh, Havertz on the left-back position. Don't get me wrong, that would also be very slightly because Davis is too good. He has been too good for me. He's like OP himself, right? But she can definitely be in that position. If you want to change or if you want a slight upgrade, she could definitely do a job. And that's about it guys. So hopefully you like this review, you like this comparison. I'll be making more of such videos where I kind of compare more players. So you have a better idea if you want a completer or not. And if you like this kind of stuff, please like, share and subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you next time in another player review or a good video. Goodbye and cheers.